Hello, my name is Michael Godfrey. I'm a premier field engineer with Microsoft. I'm here today to show you how to use Windows Admin Center, the new management tool used by Windows Server, to deploy the Hyper-V role and the failover cluster feature to a brand new Windows Server that you have deployed. First, you'll start by going to your Windows Admin Center deployment, click Add, and add the server that you want to deploy. Enter the server's name. and provide the credentials. Once that server has made the connection, you can now connect in and you'll see all the web extensions that are available to that server. You'll start off in the overview extension where you'll see things like basic administration task, restart, shutdown. You'll also see basic information, processor, memory, and physical hardware event. We're interested in adding a role and a feature, so we'll go to the Roles and Features web extension, and we'll select the roles and features we want to install. We want to install the Hyper-V role, and we also want to install the failover cluster feature. In addition to this, because this is a server core deployment, we need to have the PowerShell tools available to us for these roles and features. So we're going to select from the rural, uh, remote server administration tools the failover clustering module as well as the Hyper-V module. These are important because this is how Windows Admin Center interacts with your server. Click on install. Windows Admin Center will now calculate any dependencies that you may have missed when selecting those roles. and it'll list everything that it's going to install. This does require a reboot, so I'm going to say go ahead and reboot, but you can opt to delay that. Say install, and you can monitor the, process, the progress by watching the notifications window. I'm gonna go ahead and come back to this in a few seconds. After allowing the server to reboot, you'll see in your notifications that the install is complete. You can then resume by going back to your Hyper-V host now, and you'll see in addition to the web extensions that you had before, you'll now have a new virtual machine and virtual switches extension. The virtual machines extension works just like Hyper-V Manager does through the remote server administration tools. If you don't see the, check to see that you installed the PowerShell module for Hyper-V you'll see a summary of all the virtual machines running on your server and the resource usage that those uh, VMs are using. You'll also see an inventory of all VMs into your environment. This is also where you'll start to build a new virtual machine, where you can give it a name, generation, path, and then select things like processor, memory, network adapter, and the virtual hard drives that it will utilize. This is also how you can start, stop, resume, and take checkpoints of your VMs and connect to them. New to Windows Admin Center is the ability to set up VM protection through Azure Site Recovery, which we'll talk about in another module. 